Okay, hello, student. My name is um, William. Okay, today I'm going to read another part of the Bible. Take a read. First Kings chapter 3. Okay, okay. And Saul made a fandy up uh, with Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and took Pharaoh's daughter and brought her to the city of David. Okay. Until he made an end of the building of his own house. And the house of the Lord, while well, well, Jerusalem round about, only a few that sacrificed in high places, because there was no house but, but unto the name of the Lord until those days. And Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the statues of David, his father. He only sacrificed and burned in, in his seats in high places. And the king went to Gibeon and sacrificed there. And there was a and for that there was a great high place, a thousand burnt offerings did Solomon after upon the altar. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon. Okay, in, in Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. And God said, I ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, Thou hast shewed unto my, thy servant David, my father, great mercy, according to you, as he walked before thee, truth and righteousness, and up, an uprightness of heart with thee. And thou hast kept for him in his great kindness, that thou hast given a son to sit on his throne, and it is it this day. And now, O Lord my God, thou hast made thy servant king, Instead of David, my father, I am but a little child, and I know not how to go out or come in. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen, a great people that they cannot be numbered nor accounted for multitude. Give therefore thy servant an understanding to hard to judge thy people, and they may, and they may concern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so great and people? And the speech pleased the Lord, that Solomon asked this thing. And God said to him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and it has not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for thy self understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words, Isle, and I have given thee a wise and understanding heart. So there is a none like thee before thee and near after thee. So any arise like unto thee, and I have also given thee unto, unto which I have not asked. Both ridges and honor, so that are so they were not so there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all day unto thy days. If thou wilt walk in my ways, to keep the statutes of my commandments, as thy father David did, David did walk, and I have and I will lengthen thy days. And Solomon will walk and behold it. It was a dream, and he came to Jerusalem and stood before the ark of the covenant of the Lord. And in offer of burnt offerings, I offered of peace offerings, and he made a feast of his servants. And he came to a, and he came there two women, and they were harlots unto the king, and stood before him. And the woman said, oh, oh my Lord, I, and in this woman will, in one house, I have delivered a child with one of her in, in the house. It came to pass the hundred it came to pass on the third day after I was delivered. And this woman was delivered also. We were together there. There was no stranger with us in the house. So he was two in the house. And there was a woman's child died in the in the night because she overlaid it. And she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me. While thy handmaid slept, and then and then laid it of her bosom, and laid her dead child in the bosom.
when I rose in the morning to give my child suck. Behold, it was dead when I have got stirred in the morning. Behold, it was not my son which I did bear. And the old man said, Nay, the living is my son, and dead is thy son. And said, No, but the dead is thy son, and living is my son. Thus they spoke before the king. Thus said the king, The one saith, This is my son that liveth. And thy son is the dead, and the other son saith, and, and, and the other saith, Nay, but thy son is the dead, and my, my son is the living. And the king said, Bring me a sword, and he brought the sword before the king. And the king said, Divide the living child in two, and give half of the one, and the half of the, of the other. The, the speak of the woman whose living child was the king. And for the bells and yearned upon her son, and she said, O oh my Lord, give her a living child, and no wise slay it. But the other said, Let it be neither mine nor, th nor thine, but divide it. Then the king answered and said, God give the living child, and in no wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. And all Israel um, heard heard of the judgment which the king had judged and had feared the king for they saw the wisdom of God was in him to do judgment okay it's ending of 1st Kings chapter 3 okay next video read 1st Kings chapter 4 okay okay Okay, right, I gotta go right now. So thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe.